verse, Deuteronomy 32, 39. Yes. I probably show you're familiar with the verse. Very much so. It actually shows that all of the Quran is a false God and Jesus is God. Okay, so that verse, uh, who spoke over there? That would be the angel of the Lord appearing as Yahweh. Because it says, now that I am he, there is no God beside me. Mm -hmm. What is your uh, what what is your reference to say is the angel of the Lord? Exodus chapter three, the same Moses. You want me to? Are you going to bark? You want me to answer you? The same God. Moses that wrote Deuteronomy thirty two tells you that the God that appeared to save Israel was the angel of the Lord and his father and the Holy Spirit. Exodus chapter three verses one to six. So let's go to Exodus three because Deuteronomy comes at the end of what Moses wrote. But let's go to Exodus three and educate you because that's why I said this verse is going to prove that Allah is a fake God and Jesus is God. So I'm glad you quoted that verse because that God there is not Allah because that God says Israel is his sons. Well, that's not my question. I didn't say that God okay. was Allah. Okay, I'm that using God. it to show you Allah is a fake and Jesus is God. Be patient. I know you're getting excited. Calm down. I'm going to use the Bible to bury the Quran and prove Jesus is God. Take it easy. While I'm answering you, kiss the black stone to calm you down. Go to Exodus 3, read verses 1 to 6. Who was the God that appeared? It wasn't just the Father. It was the angel who was Yahweh. Now Moses was tending the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law, the priest of Midian, and he led the flock to the back of the desert and came to Horeb, the mountain of God. And the angel of Yahweh appeared to him in a flame of fire from the midst of a bush. So he looked, and behold, the bush was burning with fire, but the bush was not consumed. Then Moses said, I will now turn aside and see this great sight, why the bush does not burn. So when Yahweh saw that he turned aside to look, God called to him from the midst of the bush and said, Moses, Moses. And he said, here I am. Then he said, do not draw near to this place. Take your sandals off your feet for the place where you stand is holy ground. Moreover, he said, I am the God of your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob. And Moses hid his face. For he was afraid to look upon God. Now, lest the stone kisser reject what you read, I want you to read verse 2. Who was in the bush? Read verse 2 for our stone licking friend. And the angel of Yahweh appeared to him in a flame of fire. So who was who appeared in the flame of fire? Just I want to make sure out because he's going to run from this. Watch. Who was who appeared in the in the bush as a flame of fire? According to what he read, he said, Angel of the Lord. Okay, but then read verse 4. I'm glad you got it because you just buried yourself because that angel no, is who? Read verse 4. Let, Let him read verse 4. Now watch who, who was in the bush. Read 4 for him. So when Yahweh saw that he turned aside to look, God called to him from the midst of the bush. Okay, now said, Moses, my, Moses. my pagan friend, it says in verse 2, the angel was in the bush, but that angel is the God who called from the bush. Do you see that, my pagan friend? Or I have to now further give you proof that... Okay, so are you, are you making... Are you saying that... The angel of the Lord is the one speaking in Deuteronomy 32, 39. And yes. he's claiming that he is God. Yes, no yes, no God because, yes, him. yes. Um, yes, what okay. I'm saying. But before you so, tap dance, did you right. see in Exodus 3, 2 and 4 to 6, it's that angel who said, I am the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Or do we have to read it again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, so my question is. Before, wait, wait, hold on. I'm not done. Be patient with your question. Let me make my case. Calm down. Go to Exodus 23, 20 to 23 to show him that the angel was there as God, with God in the spirit. So the God that came to Moses is the Trinity. And I'm going to show you that's Jesus Christ, who is the angel, who is God. Just be patient, man. I'm not going to run from your questions like you guys tap dance. Go to Exodus 23, 20 to 23. Behold, I send an angel before you to keep you in the way. Okay, now slowly for our friend, because it's hard for him, maybe because it's English. It says, behold, I will send an angel ahead of your way. Now notice who this angel is. Keep reading. Okay. So well, no, he didn't read it yet, dude. Says, Shh, relax. Recite some Quran or kiss the stone. Let him finish. Go ahead. Behold, I send an angel before you to keep you in the way and to bring you into the place which I have prepared. Beware of him and obey his voice. Do not provoke him, for he will not pardon your transgressions, for my name is in him. Now, pause. Now, I want this uh, pagan tell me. God says, this angel, do not anger him because he won't forgive your sins. My name is in him. Does Jibreel have the name of Allah? Can Jibreel forgive sins? No. Say it again. 
No. Okay, so guys, I'm glad we got this recorded. So this man is now being honest. Jibreel is an angel. He doesn't have the name of Allah, can't forgive sins. But God said, this angel, you better listen to him because he won't forgive your sins. My name is in him. Did you see that? Or we got to read it one more time for you to be honest with it. I heard you. I already responded. No, you didn't respond. Did you hear that? Because I'm going to show you that this angel is Jesus. Just give me a second. Did you see that? Yeah. Okay, so... In Deuteronomy 32, 39 that you quoted, go to Deuteronomy 32, verse 4, because I'm going to show you it's Jesus. Just be patient. He is the rock. His work is perfect, for all his ways are justice. A God of truth and without injustice, righteous and upright is he. Okay, now, so you get the point. So this is Deuteronomy 32. He's called the rock. He is the God who is perfectly just. So we got that, right? Yeah. Okay, now go to 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and read for my friend, verses 1 of 4. Who was the rock that followed Moses and Israel and fed them and preserved them? 1 Corinthians 10, verses 1 to 4. Now pay attention. Moreover, brethren, I do not want you to be unaware that all our fathers were under the cloud, all passed through the sea, and all were baptized into Moses in the cloud and in the sea. All ate the same spiritual food and all drank the same spiritual drink. For they drank of that spiritual rock that followed them, and that rock was Christ. Did you hear that, or you got to read it one more time? I heard you. Okay. okay. So in summary, you're saying that the angel of the Lord who spoke in Deuteronomy 32, 39 is Jesus. That's Am what That's what you just read in the New Testament. Okay. You just read. So Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Did you hear that's what he just read from the New Testament? The rock that followed Moses and Israel was in the cloud. Who fed them spiritually? That spiritual rock is Christ. Did you hear that? I heard him. Hey, Mr. Sam. Okay. What's the question? Uh, my question is: um, so, if God's plan to, you know, to, to save the people from their sins, mm -hmm. if it's that you have to believe that Jesus and confess that Jesus is, mm -hmm. uh, you know, died for your sins. Mm -hmm. Because uh, that's what Christian, no, Christian that's what Jesus taught actually. Because I'm going to show you that the prophets of the Old Testament were Christians, not Muslims. But go ahead. I know what your objection is, and I'm going to thank you for the objection because it's going to bury your religion. But go ahead, ask me your question. Yeah. So uh, my question is: so if the people that lived before Jesus, yes, yeah, I know that earth, argument. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me let Jesus answer you. Jesus said that the prophets who came before him saw him and spoke of him. So that means now Jesus says they're not Muslims. Islam is fake. You got to follow Jesus. As your Lord God. So let me now show you that. You ready? Let me answer your question. Go to John 5, 39 to 40. You search the scriptures for in them you think you have eternal life. And these are they which testify of me. Hmm. But you are not willing to come to me that you may have life. And now go to John 5, 45, 47. Do not think that I shall accuse you to the Father. There is one who accuses you, Moses, in whom you trust. For if you believed Moses, you would believe me, for he wrote about me. Mm, but if you do not believe his writings, how will you believe my words? Oh, excellent. Now go to Luke 24, 25 to 27. Then he said to them, O oh, foolish ones, and slow of heart to believe in all that the prophets have spoken. Ought not the Christ to have suffered these things and to enter into his glory? And beginning at Moses... And all the prophets, he expounded to them in all the scriptures, the things concerning himself. Hmm. So Moses and the prophets, Old Testament, spoke about Jesus. And Jesus is now showing them all the places that mention him. Now Luke 24, same chapter, 44 to 47. Then he said to them, these are the words which I spoke to you while I was still with you, that all things must be fulfilled which were written in the law of Moses and the prophets and the Psalms concerning me. Mm. And he opened their understanding that they might comprehend the scriptures. Then he said to them, thus it is written. And thus it was necessary for the Christ to suffer and to rise from the dead on the third day. And that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name to all nations mm. beginning at Jerusalem. So Jesus is saying the Old Testament prophesied all this about me. Moses did and the prophets. Interesting. Now, before I give you another example, I just want to know, do you believe Jesus is the Messiah, the Christ? Yes. Okay, good. Because now you just proved David worshiped Jesus, the Messiah, as his Lord. Mark 12, 35 to 37. So you guys heard him, right? He said Jesus is the Messiah, the Christ. Good. David worshiped Jesus as his Lord, who sits with the Father in heaven. He didn't worship all of the Quran. Then Jesus answered and said, 
while he taught in the temple, how is it that the scribes say that the Christ is the son of David? For David himself said, by the Holy Spirit, the Lord said to my Lord, sit at my right hand till I make your enemies your footstool. Therefore, David himself calls him Lord. How is he then his son? So according to Jesus, Psalm 110, written by David, a thousand years before Jesus was born, was written about the Messiah, the Christ, where the Holy Spirit revealed to David, the Messiah, the Christ, is his Lord, Rab, who sits with the Lord in heaven, meaning the Father. So now, do you believe David was a Muslim? David was a Muslim, yes. No, Jesus said he's not. You're a liar and your prophet's a liar. But hold on, hold on, hold on. No, Should no, no, don't change the subject. This? Mark 12, 35, 37. He just quoted yes. Psalm 110, 1, where David I, says, I, The I, Lord I, said I, to my Lord, I, 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 according to your Quran, who is the Rab in heaven? Allah. But Jesus said, David called him the Lord who reigns in heaven with the Lord. You want him to read it again? No, no. Okay. So do you agree that Jesus and Mark contradicts your Quran and your prophet? You may not accept it, but do you agree? Okay. Do you agree that according to what I read from Jesus, David called the Christ his Lord? I'm not saying you well, believe it, but do you agree that's what it said? No, but well, I don't believe that. Okay, then I'm going to send you to Mecca if you don't answer the question, because you asked me to answer the question, and I did. Now you're tap dancing like Muhammad did with Aisha. So let's try it again. Do you agree with what we just read, where Jesus said, the Holy Spirit revealed to David that the Christ, al Messiah, is his Lord? The Bible says that. But Good. So do you agree that if I believe in the Bible, that means your Quran is a joke because the Bible contradicts the Quran? I'm not saying you believe the Bible. Does now Jesus in my Bible prove that Muhammad is a liar? If I believe in the Bible, yes or no? No, he doesn't. No. So you mean Muhammad agrees with Jesus that David called the Christ his Lord? Because also Jesus... You didn't answer the question. Do You're telling me that Muhammad agree with Jesus that David called the Messiah, al Messiah, his Lord? Okay, so that means according to my Bible, your prophet is a liar. 